We were about to nudge our dugout canoes into the Klamath River when Sami Jensaw spoke up. These are the rarest vessels in the world, said Jensaw, a guide for the Yurok tribe's fledgling canoe tour business. There are only about 10 in existence, and these two are the only ones open to the public. I ran one hand along the boat, a single solid piece of redwood carved according to millennia of tribal custom. Then we shoved off into the river. We were in California's Del Norte County, 40 miles south of the Oregon border and about 5 miles upstream from the spectacular estuary where the river meets the Pacific at a sandbar under jagged cliffs. As we paddled upriver, then down, we kept an eye out for bees at Turwer Creek. Near Snake Rock, we looked in vain for the family of otters that sometimes shows up to say hello. We spotted a crane in flight, then an egret and a kingfisher, and just a handful of other boaters. We drifted beneath the US 101 bridge, which is guarded by two golden bear sculptures at each end. The lower Klamath River and the redwoods, which grow nowhere else on earth, are at the heart of Yurok culture. The tribe's reservation follows the river for its last 44 miles and extends one mile from each bank, just broad enough to accommodate dozens of tiny, remote villages and the modest town of Klamath along the 101. The west end of the reservation is surrounded by Redwood National and State Parks. I wanted quality time on the water and under tall trees, but I also wanted to learn more about a people who were navigating this river thousands of years before the first gold rush prospectors reached California. To reach the river, Times photographer Robert Gautier and I had flown to Humboldt County's airport just north of Eureka, rented a car and driven an hour north to Klamath, where we spent the night. The next morning, we met our Yurok guides at the recently opened Yurok Country Visitor Center and headed to a boat ramp. Jensaw and guide Zechariah Gabel took seats at either end of a vessel made in 1967 by master carver Dewey George. I rowed in the second canoe, completed last year by wood carver David Severns, with Sammy's brother, John Luke. For now, that's the fleet, two canoes. The first tours, delayed a year by the pandemic, were free in May for tribal members, followed by paying customers in early June, and by Governor Gavin Newsom on June 30. The tours cost $125 per person for a two-hour trip, which can be booked online. I showed up after the tribal members and before the governor and paid an extra $25 for a paddling lesson with my tour. To a newcomer in a canoe, like me, the lower Klamath River can seem a flawless natural wonder, with willows, alders, fir and cottonwood crowding its banks. Redwoods march up the slopes. Yes, there's a drought on, but here you hear birdsong and smell the wet forest. It was a startlingly smooth journey, the canoe more stable than any kayak or canoe I'd ever tried, 